Hey guys, welcome to the Prepping Preacher channel. I'm Brother Tim. I'm so glad you're here and I hope God's truly blessing you. Hey, we got to do a range report on a PSA dagger. That's a Palmetto State Arms dagger, 9mm pistol. Uh, before we go any further, let me go ahead and say this. All right, uh, I am not a rep for PSA, nor did they send this weapon to me. I purchased this with my own money, and all shooting was done in a safe environment on a private range. So uh, all safety uh, requirements were adhered to, safety glasses and hearing protection, and everything was downrange. So let's take a look at what we got. As I said, this is the Prep and Preacher channel. I'm Brother Tim, and I am. I'm, I'm glad you're here, and I hope God's truly blessing you. Hey, i got to tell you one more criteria here for this video, uh, so please do me a favor. If it's your first time with us, do not hit the uh, subscribe button yet, okay? Because uh, I want to tell you who we are. Now, we, we are pro-God. That means we'll uh, invoke the name of Jesus Christ in some of our videos. We are pro-family. We are pro-life. That means we do not support the murdering of innocent babies. All right, we are pro Second Amendment. That means guns, weapons, bang bangs, whatever you want to call them, pew pews, whatever it is. All right, but we do support the owning and the using of 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 such weapons. Uh, we are also pro military and pro police. We support the blue uh, with this channel. Not only that, but we also uh, support our veterans, uh, of which I am one. Now, guys, we're just pro these United States of America. And if any of them offend you, if you have a problem with any of them, if you break down and cry when I mention weapons, well, this isn't probably the channel for you. And why are you on it anyway? Because we're reviewing a weapon. All right. So uh, just don't get mad. Leave. Just leave. All right. Uh, just be an adult. Change the channel. But you guys that are pro first time with you, hit that subscribe button, man. We'll get more videos out to you. Uh, Lord has really been good and we're blessing us with the time to be able to do this. And also with the ones that have subscribed and staying with us, God bless you. Y'all have helped me to get this out there. Never forget too, now we got the, the preppingpreacher.com where you can uh, sign up and go on the forums. We can have prayers on there. We can talk about different items and, and there's no... Uh, how do I put this? Big Brother's not going to censor it. Let's just put it that way. So we can talk about whatever we want. But let's get into the meat of this video. And guys, that that is looking at a new pistol that's come down the pike. So here we go to the range. Welcome to the channel, guys. We got a box in that we've been waiting on, anticipating now for about a year and a half, maybe two years. Uh, they've been promising these and, and I finally got one in. And let's take a look what we got. We have the PSA dagger uh, all right this is a basically a glock clone uh, of a glock 19 the most popular handgun out there and they got a little p mag mag in it and let's see what else they got well they got a lock down in there but we we don't really use them but all right but here it is i mean it is just a strictly a glock clone now as i said it uses the the 19 mags but you can see here i mean all right, it's got the slide release there, got the mag release there, and I don't know if it can be ambidextrous. All right, I love how they got the opening here to grab your mag, all right, and the grip, man, they got a little bit different uh, stockling on there, uh, and only one little finger groove on it. Feels good in the hand, got a three dot night sight on it. Uh, you know, and it was really, it's, it's, a, it's a PSA or Palmetto State Arms, and I think its price tag is going under under the four mark if you can find them now if you can find them but we're going to try it out here all right we're going to be shooting uh these winchester these are just a white box 115 grain uh, full metal jacket bullets these are about 20 dollars a box going for right now we're going to run it through these are just a plain jane just a, what we used to call junk ammo these are just uh stuff for practicing target as it says on the box so let's see what we got let's run it through its courses here we go with the first mag. Let's see what we got. Fire in the hole, boys. Let's 
Let's go to a little smaller target. All right. No fails. No fails whatsoever. We're clear. Well, we tried the white box. Now we're going to try the Remington uh, bulk ammo. See what we got. Fire in the hole. Run five through it, see what we got. Fire in the hole. I love it. It takes Glock mags. It breaks down just like a Glock. I mean, uh, it's got a different grip, and I kind of like the way the contour is of the grip. But all in all, man, that's a good value for your money. Uh, PSA, you've done a, a bang-up job on this thing. It's a nice little weapon. Although that Palmetto State is a good weapon, let me tell you, uh, it's still not going to replace the beast. Fire in the hole, boys. Fire in the hole. That's what I'm talking about. Now we're going to let let my number one daughter. She's going to fire up the uh, uh, PSA dagger next. So y'all stay tuned. All right, number one Bailey going hot. Number one daughter. Thanks for the warning. Well, that last little bit uh, where I where I lit up the beast there, uh, that was just to drive you guys crazy that are hoarding ammo, man. You got to train. You got to train. Buy two, shoot one, all right? But as far as uh, this Palmetto State uh, Arms Dagger, uh, guys, there's some good and some bad to it. Um, and not a lot of bad, but we'll get to it. First, the good. The ergonomics of this gun. I love how they put the swell here, okay? Not only the swell, but the finger groove right here. It brings... Your, it, with it and the swell down at the bottom, it puts your hand on the point where you need it to be, okay? It, it directs your hand. Now, you know, I don't like three-dot sights, but it came with the three-dot. Uh, if I was going to carry it, and yes, I could carry, I could see myself carrying this one, but I'll discuss that in a minute. Um, I can see myself carrying it. Now, it comes uh, with this uh, PMAG magazine, which is a, a, Glock, uh, a Glock copy. Uh, me, myself, I don't carry P-Mags uh, for my carry. I use them for range, but uh, I'm going to depend on my Glock mags. And this thing is a direct, it takes a direct Glock magazine to it. It is a 19 with some improvements. Uh, another improvement, if you've ever owned a Glock, you know how when you break it down to pull them down, it's so hard to get your fingernails on it. Well, they've recessed that, which is a brilliant move. Uh, Glock should have already done this where you can pull it down a lot easier <clears throat> to disassemble and field strip your weapon. The trigger is different. You don't have that in, inside uh, safety, trigger safety, like the Glock. It's almost like they took a uh, uh, XD uh, trigger system and put it in a Glock, which they took the best of the XD and the best of the Glock and put it together. You'll feel the break on it as you come across. Now, I'm, I'm probably, this one is probably a little heavy. It's probably five, five and a half pounds on it. You'll hear the crisp, you know, there I broke the wall. There it is. Okay. But good, uh, good reset on the, on the trigger. I mean, good, good, solid reset on the trigger. We run 115s through it, 124s, 147s, uh, everything from range ammo, what I call junk ammo, up to the 147 grain, uh, spear gold dots and never a hiccup uh, this is a good little weapon uh, if i was to choose it uh, you know uh, uh, to carry the only cons i have of it is this um, I, I use a lot of like blackhawk cqcs that lock on a glock uh, with at the, with the trigger guard with that with that switch right there but this will not fit inside that okay it's because they did have to redesign this. It's not like a Glock here. So that's going to cause a problem if you're, it, and that's one thing, it won't take all the 19 Glock 19's uh, holsters. Now, if you've got just a slip in like, like we run here, that won't be a problem. I mean, it will not be a problem. It'll fit in just perfect. Uh, and, it, it, and you can carry it like that. But that's really the only cons I'm running up against here. 
Uh, it is a bare bones weapon, uh, but for uh, under four hundred dollars, I think I give uh, three forty nine plus tax and a transfer fee is all I paid for it. Uh, it runs it like a Glock. I love the grip. Like I said, it, it's more it it's a better feel to it than the Glock. I can't believe I'm saying that because I love my Glocks, but it has a good feel to it. So, uh, but as I said, would I carry it? Yes, I would. But uh, Bailey first, as you saw her shoot it, she wanted it. But mom out trumped her, so Mrs. Uh, end up with this weapon. So it's not mine anymore, it's the Mrs. So if I want to carry it, I have to ask to borrow it. So that's our report on that weapon. Like I said, it's a great weapon. It's a good value for the money. Uh, we'll run some more rounds if we haven't any problems out of it. And, and some have talked about uh, the, the trigger pin walking. Uh, we've not seen that yet. It's staying put. So, but we'll, we'll, if there is a change to it, we'll let you know. Guys, always remember that uh, uh, if you have a prayer request, put it in the comments. Uh, we do pray for you. Uh, not only that, but uh, uh, if you don't want to air that out in public, well, you can send it to me in the email. The email is always in the description of, the, of these videos. Uh, and also, don't forget the, uh, the preppingpreacher.com, all one word uh, there, dot com. Uh, and I'll put it down here at the bottom. Go there and register. Guys, this is our community. Uh, there will be no Big Brother censorship. We can talk about anything that's coming down the pike. But guys, until I see you again, I'm praying God may richly bless you and that you'll continue to stand in that gap. This is the Prep and Preacher, guys. I'm out of here.